Bokatov, hallelujah. This is a day Yahuwah has made. I will rejoice and esteem him in it. Praise Yah. Waiting to see the sun rise this morning. <coughs> Our Abba, who is in the Shamaim, Yit Kadosh is your name. Your reign come. Your will and desire be done in earth now as it is in the Shemaim. Give us this day our daily portion. And forgive us our unrighteousness as we forgive those who are unrighteous to us. And lead us not into the hands of Messiah, the enemy, but deliver us from the adversary and temptation and wrongdoing. For yours is the reign and the power and the esteem eternal. Word to the Father through the Son that my words be washed clean and reach the Shamaim. So be it, I believe it is so. And all those who agree say so. Psalms 147, I'm sorry, that's Psalms 148, but I got something on my mind, which is Proverbs, the Proverbs wife, who does find a capable wife, for she is worth far more than ru rubies. The heart of her husband shall trust her. He has no lack of gain. She shall do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She shall seek wool and flax and delight. And with delight she works with her hands. She shall be as the ships of Tarshish. She brings in her food from afar. She rises while it is still night and provides food for her household and a portion for her girls. So, it's actually that verse right there is why I do my videos, why I try to do them before the sun even rises all the way, or at least before it rises, because we know that man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds from the Creator. And so, I try to get up and prepare these words for and a portion for it provides food for her household. My household, which is me, um, for my household and for my, not just my girls, but my neighbors, just anyone that I think about, anyone I talk to regularly. All right. Psalms 148. So I just gotta get all this stuff together. Psalms 148, because um, just not there yet. <laughs> Praise Yah. 
Praise Yahuwah from the Shamayim. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all His messengers. Praise Him, all His hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all you stars of light. Praise Him, Shamaims of Shamaim, and you waters above the Shamaim. Let them praise the name of Yahuwah, for He commanded and they were created. Established him forever and ever. He gave a law, and they passed not beyond. Praise Yahuwah from the earth, you great sea creatures and all the depths. Fire and hail. Snow and clouds, stormy wind that does his word. The mountains and the hills, fruit trees and all cedars, all wild beasts and all cattle, creeping creatures and flying birds, sovereigns of the earth and all peoples. Rulers and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of Yahuwah, the Creator. I am eternal, Master of the Universe, for His name alone is exalted. His splendor is above the earth and the Shamaims. He also lifts up the horn of his people. John 9. I'm distracted. And passing by, he saw a man blind from birth, and his taught ones asked him, saying, Teacher, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he should be born blind? And Messiah Emmanuel answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of Elohim be made manifest in him. It is necessary for me to work the works of him who sent me <clears throat> while it is day. Night is coming when no one 
is able to work. Hmm. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Having said this, he spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva and applied the clay to the eyes of the blind man. And he said to him, Go, wash in the pool of Shiloh. Shil Shil <laughs> Good morning, Flashy. One of the horses is funny. It's my neighbors. Tell every creature. Bokato. All right. Um, John 9, verse 7. And he said, Go, wash in the pool of Sheila. Sheol. Shiloa, which means scent. <clears throat> and so he went and washed <clears throat> and came seeing. Therefore the neighbors and those who saw him before that he was blind said, Is not this he who was sitting and begging? Others said, This is he. Others said, <clears throat> He is like him. He said, I am. So they said to him, how were your eyes open? He answered and said, a man called Emmanuel, Yahushua, made clay and applied it to my eyes and said to me, go to the pool of Shiloh and wash. And I went. And washed, and I received sight. And they said to him, Where is he? He said, I do not know. They brought to the Pharisees the one who was once blind. Now it was the Sabbath when <clears throat> Yahushua made it the clay and opened his eyes. Therefore the Pharisees also asked him again how he had received his sight, and said to them, he put the clay on my eyes, and I washed, and I see. Therefore, some of the Pharisees said, <clears throat> This man is not from Elohim, because he does not guard the Sabbath. Others said, How is a man who is a sinner able to do such miracles? And there was a division among them. So, so they said to the blind once again, What do you say about him? Because he opened your eyes. And he said he is a prophet. However, the Yahudim did not believe concerning him that he had been blind and received his sight till they called the parents of him who had received his sight and they asked him, saying, Is this your son who was born blind? And then does he now see? And his parents answered them and said, We know that is our son and that he was born blind but now he sees we do not know or who opened his eyes but how he sees we do not know or who opened his eyes we do not know okay he is of age. Ask him. He shall speak concerning himself. His parents said this because they were afraid of the Yahudim, for the Yahudim had already agreed that if anyone confessed that he was Messiah, that he should be put out of the congregation. Because of this, his parents said, He is of age. Ask him. <clears throat> so for the second time, they called the man who was blind and said to him, Give esteem to Elohim. We know that this man is a sinner. Then he answered and said, Whether he is a sinner, I do not know. 
<coughs> I only know that I was blind and now I see. And they asked him once more, What did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? And he answered them, I have already told you, and you did not hear. Why do you desire to hear it again? Do you desire to become his taught ones too? And they abused him and said, Are you his taught one? But we are taught ones of Moshe. We know that Elohim has spoken to Moshe, but this one we do not know where he is from. The man answered and said to them, Why this, why this is a wonder. <laughs> You do not know where he is from, yet he opened my eyes. And we know that Elohim does not hear sinners. But if anyone fears Elohim and does his desires, he hears him. From of old it has never been heard that anyone opened the eyes of one who was born blind. If this one were not from Elohim, he could have done none at all. They answered and said to him, you were born, they answered and said to him, you were completely born in sins and you are teaching us and they cast him out. The Messiah Yahushua heard that they had cast him out and when he had found him, he said to him, do you believe in the son of Elohim? He answered and said, who is he? Master that I might believe in him. And Emmanuel Yahushua said to him, You have both seen him, and he who speaks with you is he. And he said, Master, I believe, and bowed himself before him. And Yahushua said, For judgment I have come into this world, that those not Seeing might see, and those seeing might become blind. And those of the Pharisees who were with him heard those words and said to him, Are we blind too? Emmanuel Yahushua said to them, If you were blind, you would have no sin. But now you say we see, therefore your sin remains. Here comes the sun. Ah, oh, Baruch Abba. Abba. Okay. Um, Tawada Abba for your word according to John 9. I give thanks that it is in my heart to seek you. Thank you. Thank you for all those who am able to help seek you. May your word prick our hearts. May all the actions of our hands be a sign <clears throat> of your word. May all of our thoughts and words be a sign of your word. May it be the doorposts and gates that guard us. May we teach it to our children. May we teach it to anyone who's, who's asking. You know, the hearts of every creation. May we speak of it when we sit down, when we walk by the way, when we lie down, when we rise up. that we receive your favor and you baruch us with your shalom and agape. Peace and love.